Well, hello and welcome back. So last week we looked at this, the Kuat Piston Pro X two bike bike carrier. And we looked at all the things that are great about it and all the things that I would like to see improved. And I sort of teased the fact that we haven't actually talked what it's mounted to. And that's exactly gonna be the purpose of today's video. So we're gonna look at the Kuat Pivot V2. So this is it right here. And what it does is it allows the actual bike rack itself to swing away from the back of the vehicle. So if you have a tailgate, as we do here with a pickup truck, or if you have a lift gate, say on the back of the hatchback, it allows the entire carrier to swing away. Now, it's obvious that you can see up in its upright stow position that it won't work. And you might be thinking, well, if I simply just dropped it down, then the tailgate will actually clear. And though that is true because the actual pivot does space the bike rack this far off the back of the vehicle, I wouldn't want to lift anything into the back and it gets worse. If we were to have a bike on here, we can see that there's going to be interference on potentially the pedals, the cranks of the bike, all number of things. So. What this allows us to do is, if we just simply come back and unlock it, we can press this button and pivot the entire bike rack away from the vehicle, thus allowing us to come in, access our tailgate or our lift gate of the back of the vehicle without having to reach over, be encumbered by the actual bike rack. One other feature it allows us to do is, beyond the 90 degree lock position we see here, we can actually turn the entire carrier up to 120 degrees for additional access back here. So this further increases the opportunity to move around in this space freely without being encumbered by the actual bike rack. I'll admit the 120 degree might seem like a bit of a niche feature, but in the summertime, we're gonna be setting up a shower setup back here. And what we can do with the bikes in this angle is we can maybe drape a towel over the back of them and provide additional privacy for whoever is showering back here. So I actually really quite like this feature and you can see it still works with the bikes loaded up as we are here. So returning the Pivot V2 into its closed position, we can take a closer look at how it actually operates. So here we can see this is the actual bike carrier and the shank. This is what would normally go into the trailer hitch receiver of your vehicle, but instead it goes into this receiver up here. You can still use the original factory supplied uh, receiver lock. It also has this handle here, which then clamps down onto this bolt. Now, what we can do is this is just for simply um, extra security when in transit, and it provides a really simple but secure way of actually achieving that. Over here, we can see a lever. And if we pull the lever, it disengages a lock down at this end. So in its closed position, you can see there is a bit of movement, but it does automatically bind on the pin that drops down here. However, we can pull this lever and that allows us to open the actual pivot V2. On the bottom here, we can see this is a plastic or a polycarbonate material. And this is what actually touches the bottom part of this sort of uh, extended receiver so that you don't have metal on metal scratching. So it's really nice to see. And it appears to me that this is a milled aluminum. So that should also be rust free. Now, taking a look on the back side here, we can see that the actual shank does not go into the receiver all of the way. There is approximately a two inch or five centimeter um, distance that it could be inserted further. And this is sort of the start of opportunities I would like to see on version three, simply because this shank is designed to be long enough so that when it's inserted into the receiver of your vehicle, that it comes back far enough to extend beyond any bumper or interference point, as well as provide some additional clearance for handlebars. However, 
when this long shank is paired with the extension that you naturally get from the pivot, it creates a really, really long setup. And I'll show you this in a, in a bit later, but um, you can see that there could be an additional five centimeters closer that this could achieve. And with some creative engineering, you could perhaps create a window here such that when it's in its closed position, the shank could actually extend an additional 10 centimeters further in, thus bringing the bike rack much closer to the actual vehicle. So why is that important? Well, let's take a look. So taking a big step back, you can start to see the scale of things. Again, keep in mind, this is just the two bike carrier version. You can purchase an additional one or two bike tray, which would sit approximately right here, which for a sense of scale is really far off the back of this vehicle. So my truck as it is, is about 19 feet. And this bike rack sits so far back that if it didn't have the built-in brake lights that the Piston Pro X has, you would actually have to run flagging tape or a marker because it is greater than one meter beyond the back of the vehicle or where the taillights are located. And that's huge. So you can start to see how bringing this back in closer, even if it's just by five centimeters here and 10 centimeters here, would actually make a genuine benefit to your ability to park in smaller spaces. I can say from experience, this is so long as it is, I actually have to take up two parking spaces deep or park at the back of the lot such that I'm not impairing other drivers. So coming in here, we can see exactly how far back the bikes are actually spaced from the rear of the vehicle because of the added length that this adds on. Again, keeping in mind the shank is designed to be long, so it extends beyond your vehicle, but it gets compounded by the Pivot V2. It is worth noting that this mechanism is actuated and accessed from the space created here. However, I would contend that the 15 centimeters that we would hopefully gain would still be sufficient that you could reach in here and operate this, even if it involves reaching over. Something else worth noting is that the actual lever that is located here for initiating the pivot actually operates a mechanism down at this far end. So the lever, though conveniently located next to the handle for securing it for transit, could easily be moved here that it could be accessed from the side. Now, I do want to take a moment to really zoom in here because you can see that there is a huge extension that is provided with this Pivot V2. However, because the V2 does step up and the bike rack steps up again, if we were to actually draw a line from the bottom of this rack as it would appear normally, we don't really actually lose all that much ground clearance, amazingly, because that angle is maintained. That is something that I have done some rough calculations on, but it appears to be accurate. It's also worth noting that the cable that you see here will have to be purchased separately because the Pivot V2 is designed to work with any bike rack with a two inch shank and this extension cable is proprietary to the Piston Pro X. So if you intend on getting a Piston Pro X and the Pivot V2, make sure that you get this additional extension cable so that it allows you to actually open up and swing away. The original cable will not be long enough and it will become taut. So I think there are some benefits to bringing the bikes in closer. But what about the costs or the downside? Well. One good thing about having the bikes spaced off the back here with the Pivot V2 is if you have a vehicle with a spare tire on the back. And to demonstrate this, we're going to head over to see our friends at Cam Clark Ford in Airdrie, and we're gonna show you exactly what we mean. Let's go. So here we are over at Cam Clark with something really special, the Bronco Raptor. And thanks to them for allowing me to showcase the Piston Pro X with the Kuat Pivot V2 Swingway. 
because I think this is the perfect opportunity to show you what the benefit of having this rack spaced off the back of the vehicle is. But to do that, let's go around the side and take a closer look. So here you can see the actual benefit of having that space off the back. Because if you have a vehicle with an external rear mounted tire like this Bronco does, then this is exactly where you're gonna want this space. So the pivot can actually swing away to allow you to gain access to the rear storage door. And it still allows you to actually carry the bikes on the back of the vehicle in its down and carry position. So while it might extend the overall length of the vehicle unnecessarily on situations such as my pickup truck, on a vehicle like this, it's completely invaluable. So I'd like to extend a sincere thanks to Cam Clark Ford here in Airdrie for allowing me to showcase the Piston Pro X and the Kuat Pivot V2 swing away on this brand new 2023 Bronco Raptor. I think this does an excellent job of actually showcasing sort of the pros and cons associated with the actual Kuat Pivot V2 swing away and what better of a vehicle on this one here today. So thank you very much to Cam Clark. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about this product, feel free to comment down below. And if you're looking for something special like a Bronco Raptor like this is or any other Bronco products, be sure to check out Cam Clark Ford Airdrie. So thank you very much. You take care. We'll see another one. Bye for now.